Okay, hello and welcome back. I am showing, blah, blah, finally showing my voice, hearing my voice and actually doing something on this channel again on one of the most long awaited probably anything ever because time gets away with me and so does life and this channel is purely for fun and my recreation which kind of seems to get less and less these days. Anyway, this is finally another recreation video of Mark Twain's home during 19, that was stupid of me, 1874 and 1891, where he would have, I was about to say composed, yes, completely wrong, where the likes of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and Adventures of Tom Sawyer would have been written. So as we go on with this video, I lost motivation so many times doing this that roofing was all over the place and you know with the the new rounded walls I kind of feel like I want to redo every single build I have ever done with any sort of rounded part in it and you know what even looking at this roofing is absolutely crazy so I got the I forgot what it was called then the blueprints online for this build which aren't the most reliable however i was lucky to halfway through after building the exterior to find the uh, website for the build itself which is um, marktwainhouse.org it's amazing go look it. it includes a virtual tour and if you know me and if you're one of my subscribers and actually watched any of these rubbish films that i make videos because let's be honest completely amateur but i enjoy it so hopefully you enjoy watching it and if not feel free to leave it's all good but anyway they have a virtual tour so i absolutely thrived of that and unfortunately it was the interior but doing the interior helps to get the exterior right so there's a lot of switching in this video unfortunately and obviously I went completely over the top and really got into this build doing the exterior. The exterior is my thing, which everybody probably knows by now that is even bothered to watch this video. Yes, a little bit filled with self-doubt today, but it's all good. It's been a while. I'm a little bit nervous, so enjoy the rambling. As with any decoration, being able to create a room and copy it was a thousand percent easier and there was a few little bits I had to redo but it was so quick to do this like honestly I as you can see you've got that little wall I copied that wall put it in one place and then I kept copying from that specific one because it's a lot easier and it doesn't get as jumbled up unfortunately like with this lip decoration at the bottom it went all jumbled I ended up copying over the same thing and then you end up with like three different tiles piled on top of each other which ultimately I mean kind of makes it look a bit straighter or at least that's what I'm going to tell myself but as you can see here again just literally going through those extra blocks getting rid of them and there are tiny bits that have to be corrected this is also amazing absolutely I cannot advocate being able to copy and make things quicker like this it just makes so much difference but it literally it keeps things straighter that is the best part of it. I go slightly over so things do overlap. Mostly because you always end up with these little gaps in between them if you go exactly to where the two blocks are. Most of these I have done two blocks. You see there's several different ones. This part, it took me absolutely forever to do. This was all done by myself. This is a back part of the building. And this is meant to be a beautifully curved like room. And... I don't know. I feel like the decoration represents it as accurately as I could. The window sizes and placement, it is very distorted in this build. It was a struggle, especially on this sort of extension part that's at the back of the build. And you really drastically notice this when doing the interior, unfortunately. And looking at it now, I just see all those things that could have made it different. I just didn't have the right window type or I had to use BB move objects as per usual and put as many together, but it was a height problem mostly. To put this decoration in, I had to have the higher walls because otherwise they overlapped with the decoration above the windows. And I love doing the decoration. I won't 
not gonna lie, it was my favourite part of this build, just going over top with all the exterior. But you do notice on the interior when it comes to figuring out the windows, if you see they're right with that window placement, there was like two windows I could put together to represent that front part, but obviously they don't go together seamlessly, unfortunately. Uh, the interior, I went crazy with at the beginning, absolutely loved it. And I wanted to get all the design and everything in, but the rooms started to get a little bit more boring, to be honest, to, to didn't get my creative juices flowing, take that as you will. And instead, it gets a little less busy, and I kind of want to keep the same standard as I do these buildings, but there's only so much I can do when the wallpaper's just plain colours. Unfortunately, right off the bat, there were a few things I just could not do with The Sims to make this entry hall, forgot what I was going to call it, as perfect as possible. So firstly, the placement of the stairs. Unfortunately, they should have had another turn so it comes out underneath itself and also the size of the archways they didn't quite add up and line up with the other rooms so it had to be manipulated a fair amount unfortunately and also further on from doing this when I resize the building one of a million times I have to add like an extra sort of entrance walkway through from one of these archways I believe it's the one that leads into the dining area of sorts the one on the left yep because i remember that and that gets changed and it just to make the room bigger but then it has to still line up because those rooms were bigger than it needed to be but i didn't want this odd shape so i ended up kind of just putting like a little, tiny miniature hallway in it basically and we've gone into essentially the living room i don't know what they called it back in the day it had probably had some really posh name yeah, again, obviously, copy and paste. This window right there, oh, absolutely love that idea. Uh, to me, it was kind of magical to see something different in one of these bills and the window goes from the fireplace in the entry hall and then you can see through from the fireplace in this room as well. That Honestly, that just captured my imagination. Absolutely loved it. And all of this decoration, as I've already said, this room is insane with the wall decoration. I absolutely went crazy with it and I love it crazy. I love it over the top and that just makes it feel, to me, like it does better at representing it as much as possible. So we've gone back again because this is me, I build all over the place, nothing makes sense. We have a lot of changes that happen, so I apologise if they confuse you. And things don't quite add up. I recorded this a long time ago. I've edited it as good as I possibly can. This goes into the dining area, I believe, of sorts. Yes, yes it does. So I was actually on about the other room when I said about creating this little hallway thing. But hey, no one's perfect. Anyway, crazy with the decoration again because I could and I had a way of figuring out how. As usual, especially with the interior, I kind of get very repetitive and confused. It takes absolutely hours to do these builds and they are more and more further apart the times I get to build these as well. I need to start like making little notes, just getting my little notepad out and start writing what I liked about this build, things that were difficult. And then maybe my videos might actually be more interesting to you guys, so I do apologise, but hey, it's all red, so it's all good. It went with the theme of the red. Yep, that is pretty much what we're going for now. We're just going to point out colours and hope for the best. This is sort of like a part of what I feel like was meant to be an extension onto the rest of the build. I really enjoyed this part. This was meant to be the rounded room. And as you can see in the pictures, it's, it's the windows for me. In this part of the build, it is the windows. They just don't match up right. They should be bigger. They should be longer, definitely. And I, I can't get over it, but I mean, there are some amazing things that I managed to do with it. Like this cooker, I mean, honestly, that took my heart and my soul and I've done it. And I am honestly, I can sleep well at night knowing that cooker, it, it just worked and it worked well. 
So this bill was actually resized three times and moved to a different plot three times. I was really hoping to keep it condensed and I can do this as a smaller build, it's all right. But as I carried on and I realized that actually I need a little bit more space, we upgraded so many times and the space got more and then I had to resize again and this is perfect timing for once I'm actually talking about something that's actually happening I mean come on guys round of applause thank you very much like honestly I don't know why it's been a long time since I've done a recreation but getting the sizing of this one right I just couldn't hack it on the first try and usually it's not too bad but this time it just were not happening this is like a little pantry room, or at least what I would call a pantry anyway, a little storeroom, and it has a window that goes into the rounded area. Absolutely love that with the little window. Unfortunately, we only get a quick flash of this room. It is me and my horrible recording and editing skills, like I said, completely amateur. And this also leads to the conservatory, which was a complete joy to make. Honestly, I absolutely love doing it. And we have lost quite a lot of the interior. I really am sorry. We kind of skipped to a bathroom. And you know what? This is the first twin bathroom I've ever made. Like, I've never thought about, you know, the his and hers sinks and all of that extra cuteness that you know people have in their houses because you know what i've only got one sink i'm just not that lucky but anyhow we went on a little bathroom rampage and there were two bathrooms downstairs i believe and then we go straight upstairs and we missed this button absolutely disappointed in myself because that conservatory it took a little while it's got like a little um platform in it and it's all pots that picked up but hey you know what it just gives you a good reason to go and download my build on oh my gosh forgetting what it's called i was trying to be so smooth there guys i was being trying to be absolutely smooth and yeah this is me i'm a fumbling bumbling bumblebee yep yeah, we're sticking with that that's what it is and i know i repeated a word twice because it kind of rhymed but as I was saying, as we're currently doing this little school room for the kids, we're an absolute joy. I loved adding all the little bits and the music and the sofa. Anyway, if you want to see that awesome room, because it is like amazing, even more so the conservatory, because I keep getting confused what I'm saying, trying to keep on track, then it is of course up on my Sims account. It's Tigaboo55. Go ahead and have a look, even if you just want to have a look at that room, honestly, I, I'm so proud of it and I'm so disappointed in myself for missing it. Good luck with trying to decide for anything that I just said in my attempt to be like one of these smooth YouTube people that is never going to happen. I am me and that's the way it's always going to be. I feel like a snort would have been the perfect end to that sentence. And this is why I cannot record when anybody's home. I have to wait until it's all silent in the house and no one's gonna overhear me except the baby so during my rant you saw the creation or the interior design of the school room as well as some of the other rooms just bedrooms on the middle floor and we've moved on to the hallway and this is not the end of the rooms on this floor which was perfect timing leading up to this twin bedroom and obviously a kids room I think most of the rooms on this floor they're kind of like adjacent and attached to the school room and it kind of leads into a children's room and then it goes to a bathroom and then on the other side just before that little octagonal room I think that's the right shape I feel like that's meant to be like a governess's room it just has like the one bed sort of on the side of the placement of that bed I absolutely I wanted to move it who has that bed on the door like that do you guys have a bed on the door like that no you kind of have it in the middle of the room you have it on the edge or in a corner not like with a door opening out like whacking your head as you you carry okay yeah I do apologize another rant over for now for a few minutes if you are lucky this is the very room that I was talking about so I think I've definitely got confused as to what was going on and what was happening anyway moving on we go into another room and 
they went for a more floral look with the blue colours here. But again, going as close as I could to what I had from the virtual tour. And this one's very interesting. It, it also, the bed, again, it, it sits weirdly where the room attaches this next room. The decor should be a lot darker. It should be more of a black, I believe. But I went for a dark sort of navy blue because I just thought it was so harsh. There is a cupboard in this room and the room behind it, which you will see in a minute, is kind of like a room I have merged together, which I don't have anything for to put onto it. But on the tour, the virtual tour, it does suggest that this is the stairs that go down into, oh gosh, into like, the whole other section that little conservatory area so other than that i mean i didn't know all the other rooms left are actually going have been sort of done of my own design trying to stick to the theme that's what i was trying to say there is this last room here and this room comes out on like a bit of the balcony front towards the front of the building and we've also started the billiards room as well, which is this room. I hope I pronounced it right. It kind of reminds me of Cluedo every time I say it. The decoration is minimal. However, it turns out that this room would have been the room that Mark Twain actually done his writing in, which I think is quite interesting. I mean, everybody's got a billiards table in that room. Obviously, I have placed it with a, a little pool table for The Sims, right? the Fosball table, I'm thinking of The Sims 3 for some reason, because yes, I am very confused as per usual, I enjoyed doing the extra decoration on this fireplace and putting all the pictures in, it was kind of like, almost like a little family room, the hall was a challenge, and obviously BB Move Objects was the best thing to get that um, archway in. Anyway, lovelies, ladies and gentlemen, I am coming to a close, so just a quick reminder, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, believe in yourself and just stay absolutely awesome as always.